Somewhere between creating beautiful time I've seen and getting a player to walk into it, you will realize that a concept like in front or behind something is in 2D not what it is in 3D. When only working with two axes instead of three, this is more of an abstract thing, because everything is, well, flat. Fortunately, there's a solution. In a game like this, with this virtual camera angle, we can use the y-axis to determine what should be in front and what not. The lower the y-value of something, the closer it appears to the camera, and therefore should be rendered in front of everything with a higher y-value. And Unity even lets us do this without code. At first, let's take a look at the Order and Layer property. We define these values when creating the tile maps. The ground has a negative value, but I left the collisions at zero. The reason for this is that I also prefer to have my player at zero. This is currently set due to the default value. So player and collision map are at the same layer level. This is what we want. Both also must be on the same sorting layer. I did not change this, but just in case you did, make sure they are at the same level. Only then we can apply the automatic sorting. Both could also have a value of 10, for example. Now go to Edit, Project Settings, and then to Graphics. You should see this row here called Transparency Sort Axis. If not, you might install Unity's URP package, the Universal Render Pipeline. That means something is selected here as Render Pipeline Asset. To find this kind of setting, locate the URP files in your project and open the Renderer2D data file. At the top is the setting we are going to change now, so use this. Now we will change the sort mode to custom. And with the vector below, we can now tell Unity what axes to prioritize when sorting. Remember we only use X and Y, so the current setting does nothing for us. We want to sort from the bottom to the top, so this from minus Y to plus Y. So let's fill in 0, 1, 0, ignoring X and Z and sorting based on Y. The lower the Y value, the more in front something appears. Let's just try this out. I can stand in front of this whatever and also behind, without any line of code. Because in the earlier days of Unity, you had to code this behavior on your own. But there are some things you need to know. So if your game does not look like mine, watch further and see if the mentioned things will fix it for you. At first, let's take a look at the actual point of each object that is used for the calculation. Taking a look in the inspector of the player, in the sprite renderer we have the setting for sprite sorting mode. You can select between center and pivot. So center is obviously the center of your object, or the sprite. I guess there are use cases for this, but in the same way we applied the collision only to the feet of the player, we want the sorting point to be at the bottom as well. With a camera angle like this, this is the only way for the game to not look strange. But what is pivot, you might ask? Well, if some of you have the feeling that a sorting point is in the center, even if this is set to pivot, then this is actually the case. Because you might miss something from the first video of this series, the sprite slicing. Go to the sprite sheet of your player. This is where you can set the pivot point for every sprite. Seeing this blue circle? If this is in the center of your sprite, this is also the point for the sorting calculations. When I slice those sprites, I set the pivot point to bottom center. This is then applied to all sprites. Of course you can also change this for each one individually. Doing this might move your player sprite a little bit in the scene, but it should not do much harm, just be aware of it. In the tile map renderer of the tile map, you can see the equivalent of the setting. For default this is bottom left. In our case it doesn't matter if it's left or right, only the bottom is important. And when all the sprites are sorted based on their lowest y coordinate, then everything should work. Also be aware of what I mentioned earlier. 
the order and layer for all the sprites you want to sort must be on the same layer. This also applies for the sorting layer property, because both have a higher priority than the setting we just set about the transparency sort mode. Unfortunately, this is something that can make other things difficult where you wanted to rely on those settings, but now you can't use them. The sorting vector we entered only applies for 2D games with a camera angle like this. As soon as you switch to a side-scroller or an isometric game, other settings can achieve better results, but this is not part of this tutorial. So I hope you weren't looking for that. But if you did, I'll link some Unity docs in the description that should point you the right way. Thank you for watching and also thank you to everyone supporting me and the channel. Special thanks to my supporters on Patreon, Patrick, Naxwomo, Fashion Librarian and Introvert Genius. Thank you all. As usual, if you enjoy the content, consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time.